Do or do not. There is no try. Tue oder tue nicht, es gibt keinen Versuch. This sentence from Star Wars, as well as the following, feel the force, fühle die Macht, are surprisingly not so far removed from reality when it comes to the psychokinesis phenomenon. Duncan, do you think I could take on the role of a Jedi in Star Wars? Quite possibly, you have what it takes, if only the paranormal weren't so shy here and there. Duncan, for our views, what exactly are you? I am an informative entertainment mechanism for you, and assigned to this lab as an assistant. And as you already know, my name is Duncan. Sir, when do we finally start experimenting? To check out your, uh, I don't know, force field? I want the audience to have a look at everything I have created over the last few months. You seem proud of it, sir. The sound I will never forget when it was struck by ball lightning at the age of five. And this experience is particularly memorable for me, as it has now even been scientifically proven. Well, all good things come from above. And with that, welcome to this new format on YouTube. In future, I will be tackling psychokinetic experiments of various kinds with you here in my studio lab. Psychokinesis, a real phenomenon, as it occurs with the Jedi in Star Wars. For 100 years, people have been searching for strange energies that could be responsible for this phenomenon, but they haven't found them. Well, a form of energy has been found for this, but not thought to be responsible, the bioelectromagnetism. Interesting. Your bioelectromagnetic force field based on your stimuli seems to correlate with the magnetism of the spheres when they are in motion. Yes, my hand positions are crucial here, because depending on the constellation, there is a reaction of the magnetic spheres. Technically speaking, the behavior seems paranormal, but logically, no. The most likely form of energy emanating from humans is bioelectricity, and electricity as a quintessence is also responsible for these phenomena, because electricity is everywhere. Every atom contains electricity, and therefore atoms act like mini-magnets. The facts of observation and measurement show that the phenomenon has a physical electromagnetic background. Of course, due to bioelectromagnetism, it is obvious that both a compass and a magnet are the most likely to be influenced psychokinetically. Other, more non-magnetic objects are influenced by so-called magnetic susceptibility. This means that matter can be magnetized. I hope everyone has realized that an aspect of psychokinesis like this, just by logic alone, is absolutely real. I secretly know that you are also currently writing a 700-page book on the subject. 